is possible. Vic Hammond and Gavin Minty your front row, underway, 10 laps ahead of them. As they go anti clockwise around the Ellenbrook Speedway in some pretty uh, stormy, windy conditions at the moment. The two time national champion Mick Hammond will lead them through turns one and two. Look at Damon Lyle, he's out where no one else is, goes straight around the outside. And the auto pro number 27 throws the Falcon off the end of the back straight, nearly got it up on two wheels as he went through Hawkins' corner. He's up in second place around the outside of Gavin Minty and now challenging Mick Hammond for the race lead. He's found a fair, awesome bit of racetrack to work with as he bounced the Falcon on the entrance of turn number one again. Minty fighting back on the low line of Mick Hammond. Would have seen a bit of a flash of a Falcon on the outside of him. Jamie Oldfield is undefeated. Today is the West Australian champion. He's in fourth ahead of Peter Herbert and Damon Thompson as well. Thompson gets into the back bumper of the 44 cover of Peter Herbert. He spins across the racetrack and he's going to bring on the yellow lights. I have to feel a uh, pretty awesome race in progress at the moment. Herbert's going nowhere. Went uh, around none of his own uh, doing and the uh, yellow caution lights will come on. Coming for Ash Media this weekend, who's uh, in the All West Plain High Cherry Picker. Back underway with heat race number seven, the uh, first heat, the third and final round of heat race competition on day number one. Gavin Minty, a big look to the inside of Damon Lyle, and here comes Jamie Oldfield, three quarter track high. And now uh, the Nobel Smash Repairs Commodore, he will uh, look to the inside, or the outside, I should say, of Gavin Minty on the entrance of turn number three, is further back there, three wide. Marty Kelly, Stephanie Amaduri, and also Damon Hunchins. But it's Mick Hammond who leads. He's a two-time national champion, as is the man in third place, Jamie Oldfield, who uh, bounces the car into turn number one. Right on the back bumper of Damon Lyle, who is in the national champion sandwich at the moment. The auto throw Falcon from Carnarvon. Here he goes, Damon Lyle, the big look to the inside of the Hammond Tyne exhaust coming off Mick Hammond. And Jamie Oldfield's going to make it three wide on the exit of turn number four. The state champion digging on the bottom as he ranges up alongside of uh, the auto pro Nova Squash Carnarvon Falcon of Damon Lyle. What a battle between the top three. Bit of a gap back to Damon Thompson and Gavin Minty. And it's all happening further back. It's a world championship. Four to one Grand Prix further back for about 12th place as uh, Donna Vanzetti and Peter Herbert have got together. Peter Herbert's already been sent to the back of the bus one time in this race and uh, Donna Vanzetti is stationary in the yellow lights have come on. We'll check how many more laps are remaining here in heat number seven but Donna Vanzetti and Peter Herbert towards the, uh, the tail of the field have got together. Third and final heat of the day, Richard Wells, Marty Kelly and Tyler Devane. We're going to slip and slide these final three laps. Damon Lyle, get the hand up like that, trying to shield the rain out of his, out of his uh, helmet. Just trying to see where he's going, treacherous stuff. And Mick Hammond, who uh, grew up racing junior sedans at Narragia, maybe a bit more comfortable with these conditions. Right on the back bumper of Damon Lyle, they're just going to tiptoe their way into turn number three. And Mick Hammond still this heat race victory from Damon Lyle. Two laps remaining this time around. Hammond to the outside. Oh. Uh, banging wheels on the exit of turn number four. And Lyle just has the nose in front. Two laps remaining of Ellenbrook Speedway. And some of the most treacherous conditions you'll ever see. A uh, yeah, Speedway sedan race contested in. Heavy rain coming across the venue. And Damon Lyle is holding on. He's got a lap and a half between himself and 36 points. Here comes the Hammond Tyne Exhaust Commodore. Mick Hammond, another big lunge into Hawkins' corner. They'll get the white flag this time around. Gavin Minty, a distant third, is further back. Peter Herbert making a little bit of progress in cut number 44. Up until about sixth place, the Forest Windscreens Commodore from Albany. As Hammond attacking Lyle through turn number three. Here he comes, the two-time national champion. Side by side with Damon Lyle. Down the back straight for the last time. Damon Lyle's going to be super brave into turn number three. He'll be wheeling it as good as he can. Holding on out of turn number four, and Damon Lyle's just going to get there narrowly. And the Nova's Glass Falcon from Carnarvon, narrowly ahead of uh, Mick Hammond in car number five. Gavin Minty uh, will hold on to third as a uh, limp home. Damon Hunchins will be fourth in 57 from Damon Thompson, who's been consistent today. Stephanie Amagiri, Peter Herbert, Donovan Zetti, Richard Wells, Marty Kelly, and Tyler Domain will round out your finishes with Jamie Oldfield completing eight laps there. In, uh, in fact, seven laps in heat race number seven, as it's uh, pretty heavy, wild stuff out there at the moment. But uh, Damon Lyle and Mick Hammond 
Made that one a pretty exciting one in the concluding stages. Well done to Damon Lyle too.